Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my five style secrets that can change your life. I'm so excited to share these five tips with you guys. I really do think they can transform your style and make your life easier. If you do happen to be a subscriber of my channel already, I'm really hoping you notice a difference in the audio of this video. It's so important to me that I continually improve the quality of my videos, and so I purchased some new audio, and I'm really hoping that you notice and like the difference. If you could do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up if you think the audio is better I would really really appreciate it alrighty so let's get into the very first style secret that I have for you guys the first secret is picking a form-fitting piece of clothing for either your top or your bottom so for example this shirt that I am wearing right now is a baggy loose very very free-flowing and it is kind of styled that way on purpose so when I wear this type of shirt I specifically pick a tighter pair of pants to kind of balance out the whole outfit likewise when I have a very loose fitting baggy pair of jeans maybe boyfriend cut you know they're very loose on purpose then I specifically pick a shirt that is a lot more tight is maybe form-fitting maybe even a bodysuit that's very tight to my skin when you accent one body part, maybe your legs or maybe your waist or your shoulders, maybe your neckline, and make that the focal point of the outfit where everything else is a little bit more loose and free flowing, it really makes the outfit look more in style. It makes it look a lot more planned and thought out when you really didn't spend too much time on it at all. All right, so the next style secret I have for you guys is to accessorize. So this really isn't a secret, but what is a secret is there is a giveaway in this video and I specifically wanted to hide it in this video so that it was was only available to people that are subscribed to my channel or are people that are new to my channel and are really interested in fashion and style. As many of you know, if you've been following me for a while, I am a very strong supporter of Miranda Farai jewelry. I have been mentioning her jewelry through my videos for the last few months. And to be totally honest, I've become pretty good friends with that company. I just really genuinely love them. And I'm wearing their jewelry in almost every single video I ever do because I love their jewelry. So they do have a new fall collection. I am wearing some of the pieces now. I love it. I know I just wore this t-shirt in the last video I filmed, but I don't even care. It just looks so good with this jewelry. And so I decided to wear it again. It is from Nordstrom. I'll link it down below. My last video, I got a lot of questions about it. But like I said, there is going to be a giveaway for this video. I do have other style secrets to get to. So don't think that there's no more style secrets. I have three others that are awesome. But for this video, there's gonna be three different winners for the fall collection. She has introduced a lot of gorgeous, gorgeous pendants. And this one, I actually have two different pendants on it and this one is the one hanging here there's there's chains that come in different lengths you can pick and choose and mix and match so there'll be three different winners to be entered I'll have all of the information listed below but you do just have to be subscribed to my channel and then follow both me and Miranda Fry jewelry on Instagram just make sure you comment down below that you want to be entered for the giveaway that way it makes it easier for me to pick three random winners and I will be leaving this giveaway open for two weeks if you don't want to wait for the giveaway I do have a discount code that I always offer it is just my name Shay and you save 10% on your entire order and you do get free US shipping. But what I am wearing, this is the Alex chain. It is a beautiful, beautiful chain. And by the way, I always forget to mention this, all of her jewelry does come in either gold or silver tones. So if you don't like yellow gold, I'm wearing a lot of yellow gold, you can definitely get it in silver as well. So this particular charm, which is a cross, it's called the Agape charm. And then I'm also wearing the Radiance charm and the Peace charm, but there's so many other charms. I'll link her website down below. Definitely check out her jewelry, it's beautiful. And then I'm also wearing the Stephanie necklace, which is a gorgeous little pendant diamond here. And it's just a really beautiful, like simple piece of jewelry. But you can also layer it and mix and match it. And it's just what I always do. I'm always mixing and matching. I love her rings. I'm always wearing her rings. This is a new one. It's actually called the Tristan and the metal is actually vermeil, which is sterling silver, but it's very heavily coated in gold. So you're not going to get that green finger that a lot of people hate. Like I said, her quality is perfection. Now, when you're wearing a lot of jewelry like this, which by the way, I think it, accessorizing is so amazing for your style. I've mentioned in other videos, I really think accessorizing is kind of like the icing on the cake. It, without it, it kind of looks like your outfit might be missing a little something. And this shirt is nice, but it is 
so much nicer. I mean, so much nicer with this jewelry on. But if you're wearing a lot of jewelry, I love wearing these live threaders. You just thread these through your ears. They're just the perfect earring to have in your ear so that, you know, it's not completely blank, but it doesn't overpower the necklace. It's just very, very subtle. Alrighty, so the third tip that I have for you that will seriously transform your life and make it so much easier is to make a separate folder within your phone, like in the pictures section, of instant outfit choices. So what I love to do is I follow a lot of bloggers and style fashionistas on my Instagram account and then I also love Pinterest but what I like to do and what I think is the real secret is to actually get inspiration from these accounts and then go to your closet and get out the pieces that match what you're looking for and actually lay them out on the bed and just snap a quick picture with your phone. Save everything in one folder on your iPhone. When you're picking out clothes and you don't know what to wear just simply go to your phone, open the folder and just scroll through the different options that are already in your closet and already put together for you. At least me, when I walk into my closet, I see a vast amount of clothes just hanging there. There's really no inspiration there. It's really hard to kind of mix and match sometimes. Sometimes I just don't have the inspiration. I just don't know what to wear. But when I pull out my phone and I have instant outfit choices, it makes my life so much easier. But again, starting with Instagram and Pinterest to kind of see what you love and what you already have in your closet and that you can actually pull out of your closet and snap photos, it really just makes you actually use the clothes that you already have and gives you ideas of what you can actually put together and wear together. The fourth style secret I have for you guys is what I like to call the fold and tuck. I totally made that up. That's just what I've always referred to it in my head. And basically what it is, is you either fold or tuck a portion of your shirt in three different spots. It doesn't have to be three different spots all at one time, but incorporating at least one of these folds and tucks into your outfit really elevates it. So the first one that I usually do most often is actually just tucking in my shirt right into my jeans. It again gives me a little bit more form with my shirt. It lets me kind of accent my belt if I'm wearing one. I feel like when you see women out and about, if you see the little tuck into their shirt, it kind of just gives off the impression that they're a little bit more in style than the average person. I also really like to roll up my sleeves. Now there is a little trick to this. What I like to do is rather than starting from the very bottom and just rolling, rolling and rolling the whole way up, that actually falls down throughout the day and it's pretty annoying actually. So what I like to do is actually fold halfway up my arm and then do one more fold up to really secure and lock in the arm sleeve. That way when you go about your day, walk around, do whatever you have to do throughout the day, you don't have to worry about your arm sleeves continually falling down. They are secured and locked there. You don't have to think about it again. The last little tidbit regarding the fold and tuck is when you're wearing a t-shirt that has the short sleeve arm sleeves. If you take those short sleeves and actually roll them up and cuff them, it transforms a basic t-shirt into something so much more. I recently purchased this rogue t-shirt. I love it. I got it at Nordstrom and I just absolutely love the chicness of it, the style of it, but it is just a basic t-shirt. But when I roll up the sleeves, it makes it so much better. The fifth and final style secret I have for you is to always carry a style emergency kit with you. So our outfit could be so on point, so in style, looks great. We've all been there where something malfunctions or maybe we don't feel well or we wanna change something or kind of fix things up just a little bit. It's always great to have an emergency style kit and I have everything that's essential to carry with you. So here I have two different pouches. I usually do carry this Louis Vuitton mini pochette, but if I really wanna fit a lot more then I do take this Louis Vuitton a pochette accessoire. You obviously don't need to have these ones. I just am a sucker for Louis Vuitton small leather goods. I don't know why, but you can just definitely get a cheap little pouch to always have with you in your handbag. So in here, I actually have double-sided tape and that is perfect for weird malfunctions or shirts that aren't laying right or maybe showing too much. I also love carrying band-aids and not only is that in case I get like a paper cut or something like that, but I actually use them a lot more for the backs of my heels with shoes. Sometimes when you're wearing brand new shoes, the backs of your heels can kind of rub. Mine are very sensitive for some reason and I love having band-aids on hand to put in the back of my shoes so that they don't get cut up or blistered or start bleeding. Having safety pins in here is really great as well along with hair ties, chapstick, maybe a lip gloss, mascara because throughout the day my mascara slowly starts to kind of come down and I can really kind of you know make them a lot fuller and make my lashes a lot more plump if I have a little tiny bottle of mascara on hand. Tweezers are always important. You can use those for so many different reasons. And then Advil, I you know I don't usually take 
cake or need Advil, but if you're stuck in the middle of the day, maybe you get a headache, cramps, whatever, Advil in your emergency kit is perfect. And then finally, we're just gonna end with the essential floss. I am obsessed with floss. I need to floss my teeth so many times during the day. So that is definitely something that I need in my little emergency kit. So what I like to do is always just have all of those essentials on hand. I change out my handbags pretty often. So that little pouch, including my wallet and my cell phone are just three items that I will continually switch out between whatever handbag I'm always carrying. Alrighty, so that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my five style secrets. If you guys have any style secrets that you wanna share, be sure to comment down below, but then also comment Comment down below if you want to be entered into the Miranda Fry jewelry giveaway. Again, I'm obsessed with her jewelry and I know you guys will love it too. So many of you have commented and emailed me and sent me messages on Instagram saying that you purchased some of her items and you love them. So I'm so happy. I really do love getting those messages. Thank you guys so much. If you guys do get anything from her and you love it or if, or if you hate it, I don't know, just let me know. I would love to hear some feedback and I'm sure they would love it too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Video. Bye.